Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I made a new video on this channel. I've been doing a ton of content on my new ASMR channel which is at just Christine x3 underscore ASMR on Instagram or Jessica Christine ASMR on YouTube. So it's just my name on here plus ASMR at the end. So if you haven't subscribed to me there, definitely follow me, subscribe to me on Instagram and YouTube because I make a ton of relaxing videos on there and that's kind of where I'm putting my focus right now. Um, and it's been doing very well. I've been growing actually pretty quickly. So um, yeah. However, in today's video, I wanted to do a video specifically on one fragrance. And the reason for this is because I actually helped launch this fragrance. And I'm super excited. It's brand new. It is by Coach, and it is called Coach Dreams. Now, many of you may have heard of it. And it smells amazing. Personally, I love it because I tend to go towards um, like sweet and floral fragrances for the most part. Um, however, this is a super floral fragrance. If you don't like floral, then you're probably not going to like this. But personally, I really like it, especially going into spring. I think it's perfect. So, um, I just wanted to come on here and do like a really short, quick video because I think a lot of you um, enjoy my fragrance videos. So I wanted to show you a new one in case you guys haven't smelt this yet. Highly, highly recommend you guys smell this. You know that um, I'm not sponsored at all by Coach for this video. I'm not sponsored by any of my uh, fragrance videos because I want to make like honest reviews and you know, I'm just always honest with you guys. I'm constantly turning down sponsorships. So, um, yes, Coach Dreams. Let's talk about the bottle. The bottle is gorgeous. The bottle is very simplistic and classy. That is what I love about it. Super classy. I love this part of it, this bottom half of it with the um, blush pink leather that they have around here. And then they also have this flower cap on it, which is really pretty. Um, however, I, I will say, this is very similar to Prada Candy in the way of the bottle. What do I mean by that? So Prada Candy is a push down um, top. I would show you, but I actually don't know where it is. <laughs> I have it. Um, but this one is a push down top, so I'll show you here. So... <sighs> smells so good. Um, but yeah, this is a push down top, people. <laughs> it's not this. You don't go like this. You don't take this off. Um, this is what the majority of people that I've seen try to smell this fragrance do, for sure. Um, I actually did it myself when they sent it to me and I received it. So uh, yeah, just to keep in mind, don't take the top off of it. I mean, it's not going to break if you do. You could just put it back on, but... Yeah, it is a push down cap, so just keep that in mind. Um, honestly, for Coach, this is just their classiest bottle that I think they've come out with. They have their other bottles that are like, um, they have like the Coach keychains attached to them. Like the Coach Floral has a flower attached to them. The original Coach Eau de Parfum has the black leather around it. Um, but this one I really like because I think that it's just completely different from any bottle that they've ever created before. It's like Mademoiselle in the classy way. There's not a lot going on. It's very simplistic with the square in the middle. So I really love the bottle. I, I honestly do. I just don't really like the cap. Um, the fact that it comes off like that. I wish that... I, I just wish that it was done a little bit better. It's pretty to look at, but it's kind of uncomfortable to spray. Um in a way, but once you get past the whole cap and, you know, knowing that it doesn't pop off, you're good to go. As far as this fragrance goes, um, it's supposed to be based in the desert of California. So you're driving through California and having fun with your friends and you're carefree and you're living your dreams. This is all about living your dreams. That is the message behind it and the marketing behind this, the launch, everything was phenomenal. I can say their visual for everything was absolutely gorgeous. Um, 
I think I have some pictures that I can like put in here of some of the stores that had like their visual for this. Um, I'll try to find that for you. But yeah, I it was just breathtaking. I love the message behind it of telling people to follow their dreams because I'm always trying to spread that message to all of you and to people and to just stay positive and stay motivated. So I love the message behind this bottle. So once you get to know the message and it really makes you feel a certain type of way because fragrances honestly do make you feel a certain type of way as a lot of you know. Um, when the marketing hits home as well, then it's kind of a steal of a deal. Um, so when it comes to the notes, the first main note that you're gonna smell is going to be cactus flower. Um, and then you're going to smell gardenia, you're going to smell orange, and you're going to smell Joshua tree. Those are the main notes in this fragrance. Um, the top note is orange. However, I don't smell, like, if you don't like orange and fragrances, like, I personally do not, do not like orange and fragrances. I barely smell orange in this fragrance, to be completely honest with you. I mainly smell gardenia, orange, um, gardenia, cactus flower, and Joshua tree, which are very unique ingredients, and you don't really see them a lot in, um, fragrances. So I was really pleased to see that Coach was doing something different than their normal notes. Um, I really also liked that Coach in the floral blush, they used goji berries. That was something different as well. So I have been an actual fan of Coach fragrances for a while now. Um, I love their Coach floral eau de parfum, and I love their Coach uh, floral blush eau de parfum. Not the biggest fan of the original Eau de Parfum, even though that is their best-selling fragrance, if you didn't know that. Um, personally, it's just too spicy for me. I, I'm just not into that type of fragrance, but it is their number one seller. So I'm more into Coach Floral, Floral Blush, and now Coach Dreams. So I just wanted to like quickly make a video on this and tell you guys my personal opinion of it. You guys can go smell it in the store and tell me what you think. Definitely if you have smelt it, leave in the comments what you think of it down below. Um, this did, like I said, it came out about like three weeks ago, I wanna say, and they just launched it this past week in stores. So it was super exciting to be a part of that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was short and sweet, um, but yeah, you guys have asked me to do more fragrance videos and because I'm not doing another collection video, because I don't have like enough fragrances to actually show you, um, I thought that I'd come on here and do like an individual fragrance that I personally love and was actually a part of. So yeah. Um, thank you all so, so much, and thank you to Coach for coming out with this fragrance. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. If you guys haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike if you did not. It really helps out my channel and kind of get to know what you guys like and don't like. So, yeah, let's start a conversation in the comments about what your favorite fragrance is right now that is new. So yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.